Okay, hey everybody! <laughs> welcome, welcome to the Filler Shop Speakeasy. It's a pleasure to play music for you guys tonight, and we have prepared a special program. And uh, you know, since we don't see each other often with Amelia, uh, we didn't get to really um, prepare something uh, or you know get ne negotiate some something with somebody. But I always knew that I could reach out to Pierre and uh, have and come here, you know, and play music for you guys. So. Uh, even though we're all in Florida and it's sunny and uh, warm in here and we were actually at the beach today as yesterday and every day but um, we wanted to acknowledge uh, this season of the year winter we're going to, to play it for you with, uh, with Emmy on piano concert program is actually called Love Passion Music and it's something that I kind of came up with and we um, we're incorporating a lot of different you know as you can see classical tunes but also tunes that everybody knows melodies that are popular and we kind of give them our own little spin you know we kind of play them in our own way that you won't be able to hear anywhere so this is 
an exclusive for you guys. And uh, now a uh, melody from movie Cinema Paradiso. <laughs> structure that I found on the internet but it's too primitive so we're like I let her do whatever she wants to do faces. yes I let her do whatever she wants to do I do whatever I like in musically so that's why that's why we work great together but we wanted to also play um, for you guys a more of a happy song uh, which is also a love song <laughs> and it's French so I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Because it's a 14 minute piece, I don't want you to. But we're playing all the best moments. And it's a fantasy on Gershwin, Porgy and Bess. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, this is a very hard piece for piano. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you. For me, it's like a reliving a movie. This piece is like a movie, a whole movie. But uh, speaking of a movie, kind of, uh, you know, my, my story, whoever knows my story, it's kind of like crazy, you know, how we, we were stuck both the, back home and I came right like 20, 12 days before the war started, we got stuck both in Kiev and uh, had to get out and survive and, and support our people. And uh, that's when I started to play with my brother, Marky, again for, uh, so because I was here, I was here for four years in, in the US and he was there and we kind of, and before that we were young, too young to have the same level of playing and connection. But now he has become an amazing musician and he's actually now in Tennessee, in Knoxville, Tennessee. It's his third month ever in, in the US. But um, yeah, I'm really proud of him. And uh, I wanted to. Uh, university there? Oh, I'm sorry? The University, university yes, of Tennessee. Yes, University of Tennessee, UTK. And um, yeah, so I wanted to invite him here on, on this stage. And uh, all three of us will actually perform a Ukrainian song for you guys from a songwriter uh, from our hometown. Our hometown, Chernivtsi. There, there was a songwriter who made a very popular song, and you know it. And we already tried to do it back in your house when we were interrupted, but this time there are no dogs. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you guys enjoy. Enjoy whoever knows the words. Welcome to uh, your Some drinks in the fridge. Yeah, yeah. we do have wine. So you guys whoever came, and we have beer too. We have everything. Um, okay. Uh, since you, since you guys just saw, saw my brother play right now, I wanted to do an experiment for all of you guys. Since you came here uh, to the fiddler shop shop, obviously you love the violin. Okay, and uh, you know violin is always been regarded as a melodic instrument, something that is, 
you know, you, you, you play in a company with something, you know, like a guitar or piano or orchestra. But I wanted to show you guys what we can do with just the two violins acoustically. And it's gonna be something that you've never heard before and that we have never heard before because every time we play together, it's kind of different. So this is just a jam for you guys. And let's, uh, let's do some tuning.
connected you know I already spoke about my uh, my hometown and uh, in my hometown it's very close to Romania and Moldova which uh, Igor is from um, and I had a lot of Romanian Moldovian Armenian <coughs> Jewish friends all over the place because we were such a multicultural city and uh, I played a lot of and I listened to a lot of uh, folk music you know like Romanian Moldovians folk music and I wanted to play you guys um, some dances uh, Romanian dances from Bartok. We're skipping two that I don't particularly like, so it's going to be a, a, instead of six Romanian dances, it's going to be four Romanian dances for you guys. <laughs>
everybody. Thank you for a warm welcome. I really appreciate you guys being here and uh, and listening to us play. I, we have uh, one more tune. I want uh, I want her to talk to you guys a little bit. She's getting uh, experience in doing that. Uh, I want you to talk a little bit about this one. Next one. Okay. Next piece is uh, Claire Dune, which is composed, which was originally composed for. Uh, piano, but today we're playing it with violin with Costa. Uh, it's uh, Claire Dune is by a French composer, uh, Debussy, very famous. And um, yes, we hope you enjoy. <laughs> and uh, the most important thing is the Claire de Lune is translated to English as uh, the moonlight. Moonlight. Ah. moonlight. And it's, it's mostly about the moonlight that you can see as a reflection from like a lake, you know, like that moonlight reflection. So you, you could hear it in the music here. And um, yeah. Ah, by the way, I just forgot to mention you guys uh, before we we're done. If anybody likes our music and wants to support us, so then we're playing here again at the big auditorium that's about to get built in here. If anybody knows about it, it's going to be huge. Auditorium. So if you want to support us and want to see us on the bigger stages, this is our little uh, donation case. And if you want to uh, chip in, we'll really appreciate it. But for now, let you see.
couple songs for you guys left. Um, we won't hold you for too long, but thank you everybody who made the trip and uh, for being here. Uh, I have a question for you guys. You guys feeling good after all this music? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Because we have a song about <laughs> feeling good and wanting to play it for you right now. <laughs>
I know Bed Bunny now, but um, <laughs> she knows. Not really, but I know Bed Bunny. But yeah, they always wanted. They always wanted. If you're in Miami, they always every single song with his with it. But I don't know that, and he just filled in. Um, and uh, yeah, so thank you for being here for our last show, the last uh, tune of the show. We're gonna play one of my favorites, a Hungarian Charlie
guys. You made this life special. Thank you so much for being here. I hope it's not our last time. We'll see you next time. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Bravo. Uh.